Hi, Donna here with Ready to Stamp. I am really liking the nautical themes that we have. And I want to share with you three different ways to make the waves in this card. So are you ready to stamp with me? So like I shared with you earlier, I want to sh show you three different ways that you can make the waves in this card. In this, way, in this card, I have, I tore the card stock to make the waves. So let me show you how I did that. I just took the card and I'm going to make, I've already done three of them because I wanted layers. So I'm going to cut or tear some here. And all you're going to do is pull it towards you. And you want to make some waves like so and they don't have to be perfect because the waves in the ocean are, are not always perfect so that will go right here but i want to give some um definition to them so i'm going to use a sponge dauber and my white craft ink and our white craft ink comes as a craft pad a stamp pad sorry a stamp pad and a reinker. And if you'd like to know how to, uh, re to ink it up, I have a, um, I have a video that will show you how to do it. Okay, so I'll detail that in my in my description. So I'm just going to take our Tombow glue, and I'm going to glue it down to this paper that I've already created. So um, there's four different layers. You can do as many layers as you want, three, four. And as you're gluing it down, you want to remember to um, not glue the, the top of it, of the papers, because if you notice in mine, I have my sailboat stuck down in to the water. So it looks like it's actually in the water. Okay, so there's one, the tearing technique. The next one is using a stampin or a die that comes from the seasonal layers thinlet. And here is the die right here. You can see that. And it kind of reminds me of waves. So that's why I'm using it. So I'm going to run it through my big shot. You can run it through any cut, die cutting machine that you have. Just be sure to follow the directions that it gives you. So here I have the little waves that's going to come down here at the bottom. And again, I want to add some definitions. So I'm going to use my sponge dauber and the white craft ink. And I'm just going to sponge the edge of the scallop or the water okay I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back and when you're doing this you want to kind of move the um, the die so that the waves are not right under each other it kind of gives it a little bit of a better um, it looks more like waves when you do it that way so here I go, I'm just adding it to the bottom of the card that I already have. Again, this has four layers. You can do however many layers you want. So there's the other one. Okay, now with this one, I'm gonna use my circle punches. I have different sizes. I have a two inch, a one and a half inch, and a one inch. And what I like to do is start with the largest one. This is a scrap paper that I used from before. So that way I'm not wasting my um, paper that I've already cut. So I'm just going to punch it out. Sorry about that bang. And then I'm going to punch some over here. Okay, now I'm going to use the one half inch. Okay, 
And here's another, here's the half inch over here. And I'm gonna use the one inch punch. And you'll notice that they're not always, they're not all the same. Do you see the difference? See? So now again, I'm going to sponge against the edge of those circle punches that I did. Now I'm going to add some glue on the back. And remember, you don't want to glue it all the way to the top because you want to be able to stick your little boats or whatever you're going to use on that. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so here's the three different, let me get some of this stuff out of the way so you can see. Close this up. Here's the three different ways that you can make your waves. This is using the scallop die from the seasonal layers. This is using the one inch, the one and a half inch, and the two inch circle punch. And this is tearing. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, be sure to Post your pictures of your nautical themes. Here's the card that I created using the tearing. I hope you enjoy that. Maybe this will give you some ideas that you can do with your own creating. Thank you for stopping by and happy creating.